this is Sam from Facebook Oregon Hibaro Workshop and Designs. This is going to be my first tutorial ever, uh, so I want to apologize for uh, if I go too fast or if I go too slow, or even if I uh, stutter and stumble. Uh, the purpose of this uh, tutorial is to uh, uh, show and illustrate the steps I take in importing a design, an image from GIMP into Inkscape and cleaning up the image and adding uh, other things like lettering or graphic onto the uh, design uh, for a f finish uh, pattern. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, GIMP. Uh, this is the boat I did a couple days ago. And as you can see on this image here, uh, the number of the boat is not here or the anchor. And if I show you the uh, original painting, which the design was made from, um, the A and the A are not able to be scrolled. And the uh, anchor is not very visible, so I left it out. And I'll be adding those two items in scape, Inkscape. So the first thing I want to do is convert this image into a into a JPEG. So we'll come up here to File, click on Save As, uh, click on Select File Type, scroll down to JPEG, click on, on Save, Replace, and Export, and 100% is good. Click on Save. There we go. Uh, I like uh, saving it again as a J as a GIMP file, GIMP XCF image. Uh, save, replace. Now we could go to Inkscape, open it up, come over here to File, come down to Import. And the JPEG is called Boat, it's a big boat. Click on it, open. Click on OK. And there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the image. Now we want to convert it into a bitmap, which will clean up the image. Come up here to Path. Uh, click on Trace Bitmap. This window opens up. Click on OK. Give it a few seconds and we can close it. And now we should have two images on here. And usually the bitmap will be on top, but not always. Sometimes it's on the bottom. Uh, I can tell this is it because it's nice and defined. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. We're going to go ahead and add the lettering, the number of the boat. Come up here to the uh, front. Click on it. Come over here and go ahead and type the number, name of the boat, which is A835 Come up here to text. <coughs> this window opens up. We're going to choose a, uh, a font that we can scroll. And we're going to go ahead and pick this one here. Densely uh, bold. We're going to change the size of the font to 48. Uh, click on apply and then click close. Pick the selector tool. Move the new lettering here roughly to where you want them like so now I'm going to go ahead and open up the the anchor so we're going to go back up here to file import this is the clip art that I found on the internet click 
commit, go ahead and click open, click OK. And as you can see, it's not transparent. It's too big, so we're going to go ahead and click on it, make sure it's selected. Come back up here to path, click on trace bitmap, click on OK, close this window. And as you can see, now we have a image that is transparent. Go ahead and click on the JPEG. Uh, delete it too big so we're going to go ahead and resize this anchor come up here and always make sure that this little icon is on the close that way everything is proportional height and width and we're going to make this anchor half an inch tall 0.5 inch you click anywhere out here and it will resize it and we could drag it up here roughly to where we want it at Go ahead and zoom a little bit more. Click it. And if we click it again, now we got these arrows here, which we could uh, turn the uh, image round to make it more realistic. We can also resize uh, any uh, image or letters or fonts by clicking on it and then these arrows come up and we could drag the arrows down or up and make the image a little bit bigger, let's say. And so now we have uh, three objects. We got the anchor, we got the lettering, and we got the boat. And we want to make it into one object. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. I'll pick the selector tool and then highlight all three eye objects or so. Come up here to the object uh, box here. Click on it. Click on group. And now we should have one object versus three objects. Okay, now we still got to deal with the size of this image, and we have up here, uh, which is just over 18 inches in width and over 9 inches in height, we want 10 and a half inches in width, 10.5, click anywhere out here and it change the size. Now this image, uh, 10 and a half inches by width will fit on a standard size piece of paper which is 11 inches by uh, eight and a half inches. Uh, the only problem here is that we need to change the orientation of this page here. So in order to do that, we come up here to File, um, Document Properties. Come up here to this window and as you can see the width is eight and a half by 11 height. Uh, so we're going to change this into landscape orientation, and there you can see that the page changed to landscape. Go ahead and close this window out. Now we want to center this uh, <coughs> image in the center of the page. The best way to do that is to come up here to this tab, which is called the Align and Distribute Object tab. Click on it. Make sure it's on the page selection and not on any of these other options we have, like selection, drawing. Make sure it's on page. Uh, click on this icon here, which is the center on vertical axis. And right away, you see that this came over. And then click on center on horizontal axis. And now we have the image center on the page. Okay, I always like putting my logo on my um, pattern, so I'm going to show you how I do that. Go up here to File, Import, click on this guy right here, Open, okay, here he is, a little bit too big, so I'm going to go ahead and resize him, make sure this is locked, I'm going to make him an inch and a half tall versus two. I'm going to 
0.5, click anywhere out here, use now resize. This is a toggle wherever I want to put them. There we go. Now we want to export the, the page into a file in our computer. So we come up here to File, Export Bitmap. Make sure Page is selected and none of these other uh, tabs select, uh, selection are drawn. Browse uh, which uh, file you want to put it on. This is on the right file right out the bat. We're going to call it fi uh, pattern number 5. Click 5. All right, click Save. Come down here, click on Export. And that should uh, uh, export it into your file. And we're going to check that. I'm going to open up that file. And here it is, pattern 5. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now, that's been downloaded as a bitmap. If you want to uh, convert this into a uh, JPEG, uh, you can open this file in Paint and save it as a JPEG. Okay, I I hope this has been helpful uh, to somebody out there. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And see you on Facebook at Oregon Hewitt Workshop and Design. Thanks a lot.